Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and welcome to the very first ever episode of the Casual Collector Show. And we are starting this episode off with a bang with Marvel Legends X-Men Wolverine, the Apocalypse Build a Figure. As you can see right here, uh, excuse me for the lighting by the way, uh, I'm working on it. But, as you can see, we have Tiger Stripe Wolverine and looking beautiful and short as ever. This is the beautiful side panel art here, and it's the same on the other side. The best part about this packaging is this sick, sick art in the back. In fact, that's not art, that's the actual figure. And I notice if you zoom in right here, you see that thick thigh gap. I don't know how I feel about that upper thigh gap. Uh, we don't have it here, do we? No, we don't. So this is the back of the box, and I gotta say, this looks beautiful. This Wolverine looks just mm, scrumptious. Now, in the uh, Apocalypse Wave, we have our star of the show, Wolverine. We have Magneto. We have Gladiator, Sabretooth, Storm, Multiple Man, and Psylocke. And before we open this bad boy up, I gotta say, I ran to my local Target, and I only found one of each of these bad boys. So, man, I could have picked up the entire wave in one go, and I should have, because that Storm and Psylocke were so beautiful. Anyway, let's bust this bad boy open, and let's see if he is truly the best Wolverine to date. All right, now that we have our Wolverine out of the way, let's talk about the accessories. What is in the package? Uh, well, let's start off with a fist. We have a left fist of Wolverine. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit. Hopefully the camera can pick this bad boy up. Uh, uh, okay, we got a fist of Wolverine. If you take a good look, it's a good paint job right here. That's good paint. Nice blue. Nice blue. Clawless, of course. Clawless. Uh, the other hand here. Don't see any paint issues on this bad boy. Oh, wait. Got a little uh, little plastic uh, splooge there. Don't know what that is all about. Uh, the silver apps came out nice. A uh, little leakage in the middle one. Uh, now we have Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Tendrils? Quick Cables? Piping? Rim What? We had to <laughs> Well, these aren't bendy wires. Uh, I, I think I... I think I have an Omega Red. A Toy Biz Omega Red with bendy wire. I don't know. Anyway, so this is... Uh, Apocalypse. Uh, little features here. That goes on the sides and backs and arms and necks. Uh, they're not bendy. Uh, they're not the greatest... I mean, they look nice. I mean, it is what it is. Nothing special about this uh, accessory here. Now let's go to the man, the myth, the wow. He is so short, he doesn't even doesn't even fit on my game. <laughs> okay, okay, let's fix this. Okay, now we have our Wolverine. Now he does not fit on my camera. As short as this guy is, we have old short Logan over here. Let's fix this camera up just a little bit. As you can see, we have the bad boy himself. Now, a lot of people are complaining that his fins up here. Yes, I call them fins. They're straight back looking like a Batman-esque figure. Doesn't bother me much, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's just, let's just bask in the glory of Wolvie and see this bad boy lives up to the hype i tell you right now ooh, he is good looking this is a good looking wolverine let's get a zoom up on that face here oh yeah that looks good nope no oh we got a little sploosh a little paint sploosh there not a big deal not a big deal not a deal breaker take a look at the back oh man oh man you <sighs> I don't know if you see this lately, but look at that back meat muscle. Focus, it doesn't even focus on this back meat muscle. 
Take a look at that meat muscle. Oh man, oh, the camera's freaking out. Hold on. Can we, can we get that zoom in? Yeah, there we go. So that is, that's his back meat muscle. We got, got his little uh, triceps there. That thing is looking, mm, looking like a chicken leg. Oh, looking good, looking good. Look at the paint. Oh, the paint came out. The, oh, can we get his arm up? The paint came out beautiful. Oh, take a look at that belt. Clean, clean. Let's see. Oh, super clean. Super clean. Let's take a look at the line work down here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that paint right there in the hinges. Nice, nice. Now, I do have another Wolverine figure here for comparison. Ooh. What the hell is that? Oh, doesn't bother me. Hey, listen. Look at the treading on the boots. The attention to detail. Look at that mm, black paint. All right. We got a little... Looks like the plastic was just cut short there. And right there as well. Take a look at the claws here. Posable. Posable claws. Now, I gotta be honest, this is my first time uh, owning a Wolverine with posable claws. Yes, listen, it's the reason why it's called the Casual Collector. But man, this, uh, the paint came out good. We got a little, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Some, some spots here. Oh, oh man. Doesn't bother me, doesn't bother me. Does not bother me. Look at that face. Mmm. Mm. Now my only gripe with this figure, it only comes with, you know, the hands. Only comes with the hands. I just wish uh, he came with an extra head. Maybe, uh, you know, without the mask, it would have been great. Would have been great. Uh, just saying. Would have been great. Anyway, let's go through the points of articulation and see this short man, old man Logan. <laughs> Logan got what it takes to be my number one Wolverine. Alright, first let's start off with the head. We have a... Uh, up and down, swivel all the way around. Uh, no uh, pivoting, no uh, none of that here. Just up and down. He can look up that much. He can look down about that much. Oh wow, that's broken neck status. Ooh, looks good. Looks good. He can look down that much. We have articulated shoulder pads, which is kind of neat. And I gotta be honest, this is new for me. This is really new for me. So I'm a little stoked on this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You know what I can do with that thing, man? Ooh, it looks so good. Anyway, so we have uh, some uh, shoulder pad articulation. Let's check the arm rotation. Ooh, beautiful. All right, it goes around full. Ooh, we got the upper bicep swivel here action. Ooh, and that is a double jointed elbows. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it doesn't bend all the... Oh, God damn, his meat muscle so thick. It doesn't even go all the way. Damn. That's less, that's less than 90. Oh, nope. There we go. We got it. That's a little bit more than 90 if possible if you actually do the correcting of the measurements. And we have uh, butterfly joints. Yes, I do know that because I do have a figure with a butterfly joint and it's quite... Mm, it's, oh man, my this side here is frozen. Oh no, I don't want to break them. No, okay. We have a butterfly joint. You can have them coming at you like this. Ho ho ho. Can he throw up the Weapon X Berserker Barrage? No, we have Ab Crunch. He can uh, move back uh, this much, barely. He can move forward. Oh my God, this guy can pretty much do unspeakable things. Okay, we have upper thigh rotation. Pretty cool. We He can kick out this much. Oh, that's, that's good. He can kick back that much. Oh, that's even better. Oh yes. Oh my God, it looks like he is just dancing in the rain. Okay, double jointed knees, boot rotation. Now this is tricky. Oh, nice boot rotation there. Well hidden. I like that a lot. Oh, we have a uh, ankle pivoting, of course. I'm not really a, of a posing type of guy. I keep my figures either in box or vanilla. If anything, if I do have them displayed, uh, no toe articulation. Kind of maybe a, that that's a little bummer, and I'll explain why that might be a bummer. But that is all. Oh, do we do a hip swivel? Yes, we do have hip swivel. All right, I think that's 
all that is to say about the uh, articulation. Now, definitely, this isn't the only Wolverine that I have in the collection, of course, in my casual collection. I do have the 2003 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Wolverine for comparison. And I gotta say, I have to say, <laughs> this guy is short, but Wolverine is a short dude. He's a short, beautiful looking human meat. What the hell did I just say? Anyway, this is the 2003 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Wolverine. Can you say that fast? Wolverine. Anyway, now the reason why I say that the toe articulation might be a problem because this guy, he has toe articulation. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, for those who pose Wolverine a lot, that might be an issue, but he definitely has toe articulation. Uh, this one definitely has less articulation, but uh, the one thing that he has is maybe finger articulation and toe articulation. And I think that's about it. I mean, he can look up pretty well. Anyway, this isn't a review on the 2003 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Wolverine. But I gotta say, I gotta say, this was my favorite Wolverine of all time. Of all time. Now, I, I, I noticed right here, he has sculpted arm hair. This one has painted on arm hair. I wish they just, you know, instead of sculpting it, just throw on some paint. Uh, it would have been a little bit quicker. But I gotta say, this is a good looking Wolverine. This is a fantastic Wolverine. I mean, I think this one still might be number one for me, uh, if I had to be honest. I mean, the the shading here, the the layers, the layers on this figure. Just look at look at look at his back meat versus his back meat. I mean, this one is definitely more realistic. This one just looks like he has a tumor. Other than that, uh, this figure right here, our new Wolverine figure, is definitely, definitely one to uh, go out and uh, spend your hard-earned monies on this bad boy. He's great. I do love the uh, that crunch, man. Oh, that ab crunch. You know me, I love ab crunch. No, you don't know me because this is the first episode. Oh, man, but this Wolverine is beauty. Beautiful. Oh, and you can, you can take off his claws too, man, and you can just stick it, Scott Stummers. Yeah. Stick. Oh, oh, now we have X23 up in here. Stick it. You know who it is. Anyway, this is. Ooh. John. From the Casual Collector Show. Very first episode. Can he stand up for the life of me? I, I guess he can't stand up. <laughs> anyway, catch you later.